And welcome back. And there is a lot to celebrate mm -hmm. this weekend. We're talking about Star Wars Day, the Kentucky Derby, finishing the marathon, Kennywood opening, and Cinco de Mayo. Oh, I love this weekend. There's something yes. for everybody. <laughs> and whatever you are toasting, our next guest says you can't go wrong using award winning Boyd and Blair vodka to craft all of your cocktails. Yeah, Barry Young of Pennsylvania Pure Distilleries is here with two recipes to get mm -hmm. us started. And Barry, once again, you guys have won another award, right? That's correct. We just won a 96 rating in the top vodka at the Ultimate Spirits Challenge, beating out big international brands mm -hmm. for the top spot. Right here in Pittsburgh. That's so right. cool. What makes yeah. the vodka so special? I always say it's love, jokingly, but there's just <laughs> a lot of love and passion behind it. But we use only Pennsylvania potatoes. We make everything by hand from scratch at the distillery in Glenshaw. Uh, so it's a really hands-on, great team environment. And you have two drinks for you're going to show us now that we, we could use to celebrate something this weekend. Correct. And as we said, there's plenty to celebrate. What's the first drink? Uh, the first drink is uh, an ancho chili old fashioned. So we have a new product that's called Bly um, Ancho Chili Liqueur. So we use uh, dry. Uh, Thank you. Uh, Dried ancho oh, chili my peppers. Is oh, your lips are the clean one. <laughs> Sorry, that's why I hesitated. I already, I already took a taste. <laughs> so this is a new spicy liqueur that's a rum based. Uh, and so we just, I just took uh, an orange, uh, muddled it with the ancho, mm -hmm. um, strained and it. And ancho chili, so is that a real powerful chili? I don't know. It has some spice, but it's really just a, um, a uh, dried poblano pepper. Oh, okay. So it's dried, it's not really smoked, so it's not like a chipotle pepper that has smoke. Right. Okay. So it's more of a subtle, but you'll get the sense that you're almost, like it's an old fashioned, but it has that kick at the end of the I love the smell of it I already. I normally don't like old fashions, but I like that spice. Right. That's what makes this one so good. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. this is good. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers. David. Oh, great start, oh, thank Barry. Thank you. Yeah, and I love what you did with the, the, the zest or the, the peel of the orange. Right, it's great to, yeah. for the old fashioned, you know, the classics. Um, smell is the orange so when you bring the glass up you get that orange smell first thing and then with this drink you get the pepper finish so yeah. it's like mm -hmm. yeah right. I have it right now right. I have me, this sort of zing in my mouth me right. too I like it <laughs> yeah that's good all right we're holding on to these but uh, yeah. you can show us the second drink <laughs> yeah well you enjoy that while I make the next one so the next one I just call the UV rays because it's sunny um, but we're using um, papaya from Mexico for mm. this for the Cinco de Mayo okay so I'm going to do a double of this since there's two of you so we're going to do three ounces. How about a triple? I'm just kidding. A heavy, a <laughs> heavy three ounces. Her Lena's planning for later. <laughs> a, a heavy three ounce of uh, Boyd and Blair, and then we're going to do four ounces of uh, fresh. Papaya. So this is, you could go to the grocery store and buy a papaya or right. can you b purchase this somewhere? Yeah, we b I bought this yesterday and then put it through a Vitamixer oh, okay. at the distillery mm -hmm. just to have everything fresh. Uh, you know, the, the, to make great cocktails, one of the key ingredients is fresh ingredients. Even fresh lime juice makes a huge difference. Um, so here again, fresh squeezed yesterday. Uh, and so we're going to do an ounce for each drink in here. And I'm sorry, that is lemon or lime juice? Uh, lime juice. Lime juice, okay. Lime juice. Yeah. And then we're going to do a little bit of simple can... syrup to get a little. Mm. What? Very fresh. Oh, yeah. yeah. So simple syrup too, okay. Mm -hmm. And I always thought, I mean, I make drink juice and be green. It's not. It looks like I know. I, I would have yeah. thought the same thing. Maybe that's lemon I would have failed the test. Sorry. Right. So we'll shake this well. Oh, this is how I get my workout on the weekend. That's the only workout I get. I know. I know. That's right. David, you always make great stuff. I try. Not only drinks, but food too. Well, oh, thank this you. Is very right inspiring. Right up your alley. Oh, I try. <laughs> and oh, so it's a beautiful good. color. Yeah. Mm hmm. And we're going to add a little kick to this. Uh, we're going to add some sesame oil, just a drop into each. Okay. Sesame oil. Oh, yeah. that, so we're that gonna... is bold and daring. So, <laughs> so we're just a, just two drops. You don't want much, and then mm -hmm. we'll stir it up. Mm. And so then, sesame oil, like from sesame seeds. Right. So it's going to okay. turn it into a, a savory cocktail. Oh, interesting. So you're I gonna would have never that. guess that would be something you would put into a cocktail. So you could serve this. Like, what what theme would this go Thank with? You. Would this be like a Cinco de Mayo? Thing? So this would, would be this... a Cinco de Mayo since papayas are from Mexico. Okay. Um, and so, it, so obviously sesames aren't, but the papaya is. But it has a great color, very festive. Oh, cheers, cheers, cheers once again. Cheers. Two drinks in one segment. I'm, I love we're PTO living happy right. hour. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Mm. 
Oh. oh, it is savory. Yeah, you get that savory finish. With the, the sesame oil. Yeah. That is so good. And, and yet the, wow. the freshness mm -hmm. of the papaya. Mm -hmm. You taste that too. Yeah, it's really. How do you come up with your drinks? I don't come up with them all, all. So I have <laughs> yeah. a great staff at the distillery. Um, and, you know, we have cocktails that we create like this every Saturday from noon to six that so people should stop out. So if you mm -hmm. stop out, we, we, Selena and I could have a say in, in what gets created. <laughs> yeah, so we of could course. Have craft some things. Yes, Absolutely. we could have craft. Right. And where yeah. are you located again, Glenshaw? At Glenshaw on Route 8. Okay, so, easy to get good. to? Right. All right. A great thing to have in our area. We wow. appreciate it. We appreciate you always coming and, and wow. giving us something to drink. It's my pleasure. <laughs> Anytime. All right. Well, for a copy of today's recipes, go to PittsburghTodayLive.com. And, of course, remember to drink responsibly.